In February 2013, guests at the Cecil Hotel complained about the water's odd taste and smell. The hotel staff investigated and found a disturbing surprise. They discovered the body of a young woman named Elisa Lamb floating in the rooftop water tank, prompting a chilling mystery surrounding her death. In the midst of the puzzling mystery surrounding Elisa's death, a movie with creepy similarities and Elisa's strange behavior before she vanished added an eerie twist to the confusing case. Hello there, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to discuss another unsolved mystery, the one surrounding Elisa Lamb. Elisa Lamb's body was discovered floating without clothes in the rooftop water tank of the Cecil Hotel after she exhibited strange behavior in the hotel's elevator. What happened to Elisa remains a mystery to this day. In this video, we'll explore shocking revelations and theories surrounding Elisa Lamb's mysterious case. We'll also examine all the facts of this story. So let's get started. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing mysteries. Elisa Lamb, a young woman whose name became synonymous with an unsolved mystery. But who was she? Let's uncover the essence of Elisa Lamb's life, her passions, and the unanswered questions that continue to surround her. Elisa Lamb was born on April 30, 1991, in Vancouver, Canada. At the time of her passing, she was 21 years old, just beginning to embark on life's journey. While she may have been young, Elisa possessed a vibrant spirit that left a lasting impact on those who knew her. Elisa struggled with mental health issues and had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, a condition that can bring both moments of great joy and profound challenges. Despite her battles, she was determined to live a fulfilling life and pursued her dreams with unwavering determination. One of Elisa's greatest passions was travel. She had an adventurous soul craving new experiences and immersing herself in different cultures. Elisa's love for exploration led her to the bustling city of Los Angeles, where she checked into the Cecil Hotel in early 2013. The video of Elisa Lamb in the hotel elevator is a chilling recording that has captivated audiences around the world. This haunting footage serves as a key element in the enduring mystery surrounding her case. As the surveillance camera captures the scene, we witness Elisa entering the elevator, pressing multiple buttons and anxiously glancing around. Her behavior takes an unusual turn as she begins to make strange hand movements, gestures that seem disconnected from the situation at hand. With a mixture of confusion and unease, Elisa's hands float in the air, almost as if she is engaging in an otherworldly conversation. She peeks out of the elevator, as if searching for something or someone, while her hands continue their enigmatic dance. Please also notice that the elevator doesn't close during the video, but only when Elisa leaves the elevator. This enigmatic video sparked a storm of speculation and conjecture. People propose theories ranging from mental health episodes to the influence of drugs, while others delved into more supernatural or nefarious explanations. The viral nature of the video drew attention to Elisa's disappearance and the tragic discovery of her lifeless body in the hotel's rooftop water tank. The video, recorded on February 1, 2013, became a focal point for investigators and a source of fascination for those eager to unravel the truth. Law enforcement authorities meticulously examined this footage, hoping to gain insight into Elisa's state of mind leading up to her vanishing. While the video provided a glimpse into her behavior at that moment, it failed to offer a definitive explanation for the events that followed or the circumstances surrounding her demise. Nearly three weeks later, on February 19, 2013, Elisa's lifeless body was found in the rooftop water tank of the hotel. The discovery added a tragic final chapter to the mystery that had captured the world's attention. Today, the video of Elisa Lamb in the hotel elevator remains an eerie reminder of the unanswered questions that linger. It continues to fuel curiosity and speculation, leaving us to ponder the true nature of her final days. Investigators meticulously examined the evidence and conducted thorough forensic analysis. The official cause of Elisa Lamb's death was ultimately ruled as accidental drowning, with her bipolar disorder cited as a contributing factor. While the official explanation sheds some light on the tragedy, it doesn't entirely quell the lingering mysteries. One of the most perplexing questions that remains unanswered is, how did Elisa Lamb end up in the water tank? 
Firstly, access to the hotel's rooftop was typically restricted to employees only. This raises questions about how Elisa, a guest, managed to navigate her way to a place that should have been off-limits to her. The restricted access policies and security measures make it difficult to imagine that she could have reached the rooftop area on her own. Secondly, the water tanks themselves present a formidable obstacle. These tanks are not only large but also heavy, with lids that are not easily closed from the inside. It is challenging to envision how Elisa, a young woman alone, could have had the physical strength to lift and close the heavy lid of the water tank after entering it. Furthermore, the secluded location of the water tanks adds to the improbability of Elisa entering the tank without assistance. The tanks were tucked away in a secluded area, making it less likely that she stumbled upon them by chance. Additionally, Elisa would have needed to use a ladder to reach the tank, which would have been at least three meters high, but no ladder was ever found. Considering the limited rooftop access, the heavy and challenging nature of the water tank entry, and the secluded location of the tanks, the idea that Elisa could have placed herself inside the water tank becomes increasingly implausible. Yet, despite the improbability of such a scenario, various theories have emerged to explain the mysterious circumstances surrounding her disappearance and tragic death. One theory suggests that Elisa's death was suicide. Supporters speculate that she may have entered the water tank on her own, potentially during a mental health episode, and committed suicide by drowning. However, the restricted access to the rooftop and the physical challenges associated with entering the water tank raise doubts about the feasibility of this explanation. Additionally, it is worth noting that Elisa had bought books as gifts for her family members prior to her disappearance. This suggests that she had the intention to go back to her family, adding another layer of complexity to the understanding of her motivations and actions leading up to her tragic death. There are those who believe Elisa may have been a victim of foul play. These theories suggest that someone else may have harmed or murdered her, subsequently placing her body in the water tank to conceal the crime. However, the lack of concrete evidence regarding a perpetrator and motive leaves these claims unsubstantiated. The eerie nature of Elisa Lamb's case and the mysterious elevator footage have given rise to theories involving paranormal or supernatural elements. Some speculate that her experiences may have been influenced by ghostly encounters or spiritual possession, providing alternative explanations that go beyond conventional understanding. One theory that emerged is the elevator game theory. It suggests that Elisa was attempting to play a paranormal game known as the elevator game or the elevator ritual. According to this theory, participants follow a set of specific instructions while riding elevators in a particular sequence, purportedly enabling them to access different dimensions or communicate with otherworldly entities. Additionally, the Cecil Hotel, where Elisa stayed, has a long history associated with alleged paranormal activity. Multiple murders have occurred in the hotel over the years. Some individuals believe that the hotel is haunted, attributing strange occurrences to restless spirits or other supernatural forces. These beliefs, along with Elisa's mysterious circumstances, have contributed to theories connecting her case to the hotel's haunted reputation. Some theories posit that Elisa may have been under the influence of drugs or substances leading to a disoriented state and her unusual behavior. This hypothesis suggests that her actions in the elevator and subsequent demise were a result of drug-induced psychosis. However, it is important to note that the toxicology reports conducted after her death revealed no traces of drugs or alcohol in Elisa Lamb's body. Given Elisa's known diagnosis of bipolar disorder, another theory suggests that she may have experienced a severe mental health episode during her stay at the hotel. Supporters argue that her erratic behavior and disoriented state in the elevator could be attributed to this underlying condition. However, it does not address the logistical challenges of accessing the water tank. Some people believe that the movie Dark Water, released in 2005, has similarities to the Elisa Lamb case, which caught their attention. According to this theory, there are suggestions that someone may have targeted Elisa, trying to recreate scenes from the movie Dark Water, possibly with harmful intentions. When comparing the elevator video of Elisa with certain scenes from Dark Water, it is noticed that she is wearing a red sweatshirt and outfit similar to the girl in the film. 
These similarities have sparked speculation and added an eerie connection between Elisa's case and the movie. There are even theories that propose occult or ritualistic involvement, suggesting that Elisa may have been engaged in practices attracting attention from individuals or groups with sinister intentions. These theories often lack substantial evidence and rely on conjecture. Lastly, fringe theories have emerged, suggesting government cover-ups or involvement. Another thing worth noting is that Elisa maintained multiple blogs. Allegedly, one of her last blog posts was about her feeling followed and watched, although we have found no evidence of this specific blog post. The fact is that one of her blogs continued to post after her death, as Tumblr provides the option to queue posts. The case of Alyssa Lamb continues to puzzle investigators, leaving unanswered questions and a lingering sense of mystery. Why did she exhibit strange behavior in the elevator? How did she end up in the water tank? What led to her tragic death? Without conclusive evidence, we are left to ponder and develop our own theories. That concludes our exploration of the puzzling case of Elisa Lamb. We hope you found it fascinating. What do you think happened to her? Was it an accident, foul play, or something mysterious? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this discussion, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating mysteries. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to continuing our investigations together.